We want to look at what the probability is for a player who's playing a state lottery where you pick four numbers from 1 to 29. The jackpot is one if you match all four numbers that are drawn from the uh, state's ball spinning machine. What is our probability of winning this jackpot? Again, here we have a situation where the outcomes of drawing a ball are assumed to be equal likely. Each of the numbers from 1 to 29 can occur. We're going to draw four of the balls and we have to match all four of these. So if I define uh, E is the event that we match all four balls that are drawn, I know the outcomes again of drawing balls are equal likely. I can use the rule to find the probability of E by counting how many ways E can occur out of the number of possible ways it is to draw four balls, and so that would be our sample space. So the probability of E, let me take that back there, the probability of E is going to be number of outcomes in E matching all four balls over the number of outcomes of our sample space. So the number of outcomes in E is that if we have to match all four, we have, it's kind of like a counting problem, uh, out of the four balls that are drawn, all four have to match. This is four choose four, or four choose four written this way. And you, when you work on that one, you're going to get an answer of one. There's only one way to match all four numbers. You had drawn, or you had picked, all four numbers to begin with. So no big surprise here that the combination formula gives me the, the answer I expect. Now the number of uh, outcomes in a sample space, this is going to be the uh, number of ways we can draw or pick, I should say, four balls from the, the set of 29. So a number of S is going to be 29, choose four of them, or 29C4. So using our definition for combinations, we have 29 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 29 minus 4 factorial. Give me a little more space for writing here. Simplifying this, in a denominator we have 4 factorial times 25 factorial, so I'm going to break up to 29 by definition of the factorial until I reach the 25 factorial term. And then dividing by 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2, and this whole thing here is multiplied by 25 factorial. Those 25 factorials cancel each other out. And I'm left with here is I got 4 times 3 times 2. Uh, I want to cancel out anything I can in the, in the uh, denominator. Well, when we start looking at this, well, you know 4 goes into 28 7 times. We also know that 3 goes into 27 9 times, and 2 goes into 26, leaves us with 13. So our answer for our sample space here, the number in our sample space, is we have 29 times 7 times 9 times 13. And in this case, because I know the numerator is 1, I'm going to multiply this out and when you take 29 times 7 times 9 times 13, you get 23,751. So the probability of winning the jackpot is going to be 1 out of the 23,751.